bang, bang, bangy, bang, boom, boom. Bang, bang, bangy, boom, boom, boom. You know what we're going to do today? <sighs> we're going we're gonna to learn how to do Rubik's Cube, man. I've got a couple. Uh, this is the good old run. And this one is called a Speed Cube. It's really fast. Flies apart. Not as good, but... If you're good at a Rubik's Cube, this is the one you want to do it on because you can go really, I'm talking really, really fast. But I'm going to show you how to do one of these. And you're thinking, all right, you're going to show me how to do a Rubik's Cube on a stupid video? Yeah, because I learned how to do it from a YouTube video. Um, except it was, it took me about a month. And um, so I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I've got these poems. I've got five Super simple, like less than one poem only has six words in it. Uh, one of them's got about ten, and that's about it. And there's five little poems, and they're easy to remember. I'm going to teach you the poems, but you have to be at a certain level for those poems to make sense. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do one side on a Rubik's Cube. I know. You probably think, I know how to do one side on a Rubik's Cube. Well, if you do, that's great. You can skip all this, and you can go straight to... Uh, well, I haven't made them yet, but I'm going to do the five poems videos. It'll be easy. And then all kinds of people all around the world will be able to do Rubik's Cubes because they're able to memorize a poem. It's easier than memorizing a song, I swear. They're simple poems. Here's one of the poems. Um, fasten the ribbon. The ribbon's fastened. That's it. It's a logarithm. It means left. I mean, excuse me, face, top, right. Right top face, or T, the ribbons fastened top right face. So the first letters of the things just designate a, a spot on the cube. There's only three sides you mess with. On that particular move, it's fasten the ribbon, the ribbons fastened. Of course, I'm not doing anything because this cube is screwed up, but I'm going to. Uh, what we do is I start solving a, a cube by just simply doing the white side. I don't know why, it's just the way I've always done it. Um, and if you've ever solved just one side of a cube, it's not that hard because um, the rest of the two layers can be all screwed up still. All you're trying to do is accomplish this one top layer, just the face, not just the face of that layer, but the little sides of it as well. And a lot of people probably know how to do that because you can do that. You can figure that out completely on your own without ever actually learning how to do a complete Rubik's Cube, which is where I was. For, I don't know, 20 years or so? Anyway, so I'm going to uh, show you. It's simple. You just keep taking the whites on the sides and moving them up to the top. That's it. How many can you get up there? Well, you just... And I should do this with a camera, like right here. You know what? I'm going to probably... I'm going to set this up and do this completely different. But I promise, you're going to know how to do a Rubik's Cube after this. I promise. 